Good day, ladies and gentlemen. All right, as you can see here, we have another review on Kazakh. Okay, uh, I was supposed to make this review a week ago, but uh, here we go. So I have a few resources right now for the Kazakh language. And as you can see, I have here the Critical Language Series. Many of you probably already uh, have already seen um, languages offered over there uh, by the University of Arizona. They have what Kazakh, Cantonese, Ukrainian, um, Kurdish, um, Portuguese, and some other ones, I believe. Now for this one, uh, they have three levels. This is the beginning. They have level two, and they have level three. So this has two CDs. And on the first CD, you have what? Uh, focus in for you. You have ten lessons, okay. And then on the second CD, you have another ten lessons, I believe. Let me see. How do you get to the other one? Okay. All right. 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yeah. There you have it. That's the second. Okay. And I must say, this is a very, very good course. Um, I was kind of, uh, at first, before I got it, I was a little reluctant because I thought about these other language courses I have um, on, on a CD like this that you have to download to your computer. And uh, I thought this would be the same, but it's not. Now, I actually made a review on the uh, Cantonese one, because I have Cantonese, uh, the Critical Language Cantonese course. And the setup, the layout is exactly the same as this. Kazakh is the same layout. So what I'm going to do, instead of me making a separate video, walking you through this, I will go ahead and show you um, or post a link to that Cantonese video I made. Um, just a little sample. Okay. So the concept is pretty much the same as that. So this is the Critical Language Series. It only comes with this CD. There is no book. But when you install it on your computer, you will notice that it's it's pretty much like a book. How they have to, you know, because of the content, the type of content they have. All right. So that's Kazakh. See here, learn to speak. All right. Now, I have these as well. I'm not really using these right now. Because I'm not, I'm, right now I'm in a stage of just kind of like listening, getting used to the sound and whatnot. This is a phrase book for Kazakh. And I think I made a video on the other one I have for Georgian a long, long time ago. Now the only, the only thing, only problem about this is they use the Romanized. They don't use the, the Cyrillic. That's the only problem. As you can see, it's still useful, but it would have been great if they could have used the Cyrillic. It would have been very, very good. She's in there playing with the kids. Yeah, so that's that. Then I have Colloquial Kazakh mini course, audio form. And this is uh, another useful course to use. Now, like that other one I just showed you, they don't use the Cyrillic. As you can see here. Salamitsisbe. So. Yep. So all phrases, introductions. Personal pronouns. So if you have a foundation in Turkish, you will pick this up pretty fast because it's pretty much the same. The grammar. Same, same deal. A lot of similarities. And a lot of um, words borrowed from Arabic and uh, Persian. One of these days I'll make a video comparison go through those and some sounds to show you 
Okay. So these are basically phrases, days, months, dates. And that's it. Just no Cyrillic. Now this comes with audio as well, but the audio was very, very, very expensive. I had this course for Uzbek. I gave it to my, my buddy Jamal. Um, I got the cards, the audio. Um, I got it for cheap, but the audio for this, very, very expensive. So I, I had to pass on it since I have this other course with audio. The last thing I have is this grammar text vocabulary course. Okay. Let's see what they have to offer. Okay, as you can see, there's the alphabet with the Cyrillic. Cyrillic there. Learn the pronunciation, Romanize in the middle. Examples. Okay. Let's see. Vocabulary. Vocabulary bank. Human being. Yeah, so they use the Cyrillic here. This is good stuff. That's why they included the alphabet at the beginning. All right. Yep, so you all your vocabulary. Reading and writing. City. City transportation, sports, nature, in the country, domestic animals. Let's see, they said they had some tech. Oh, okay, this is good. So this is like a preparation here. Let me scoot this up. You can barely see. Hold on for a second. Just set like that. Okay. All right. So as you can see, this here it says preparation for text. They give you vocabulary. Prepare for the text, and then you have text here uh, ooh, sorry about that I'm in trouble trying to get this okay alright so this is the text and I just showed you the vocabulary for this text only problem is it doesn't come with audio it's the only problem dialogue dialogue and I love dialogues that's great dialogue okay what's on the next page grammar a grammar breakdown the noun exercise kinds of nouns Compound. Derivative now. So, yeah, this is basically, I mean, it's a really useful book. I would definitely get my hands on it, pick it up. If you're learning Kazakh, you can use it along with your studies. Now, they do have another book coming out. I uh, can't, remember, can't remember the date, but it's uh, a colloquial. A colloquial will be coming out for the Kazakh language. So that will definitely be at the house. So a language, a language, a language that rare, you might, you, you can't really be picky. You may want to just grab all the resources you find for it. I mean, you want to find them useful um, eventually. So I would definitely get it. But uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. That's it for this video. Like I said, I'll post a link or make a video response to this video of the Cantonese course. Um, I showed you so you can get the idea of how this Kajak course is laid out because like I said it's pretty much the same. Alright, thanks for viewing.